uh, uh, domestic violence. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the status quo. In our society, we all know that in, in most countries, no matter in developed countries or developing countries, the males or the husbands also act and um, a role to, uh, to act as an, uh, a breadwinner. They uh, often, they usually earn more. They economically um, uh, stand at a higher status, a higher uh, status in, in, in a family. Uh, and they are physically strong. And well, uh, as for the wife, they uh, sometimes uh, not only they have to work, sometimes they have to do most of the house housework, and but uh, they are physically uh, weaker. So this is often the case. Uh, the husbands uh, use their higher status to uh, put more pressure on the on, on their wives. Maybe they. Uh, confront some problems during their work time, they will um, abuse their wife in their home to uh, release their pressure. So uh, it is not uh, equal, it is not fair for the wives to uh, suffer the more. And sometimes because they are more, uh, they are the weaker side, they are uh, embarrassed and not brave enough to talk to, to talk about it. They are so embarrassed that they feel uh, they feel ashamed, and uh, sometimes their husband uh, 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 threatens them to talk about it to to make it um, public. So our mm, uh, so we uh, we are for the policy that we need to forcefully remove women from situations of. Uh, domestic uh, violent. Uh, our definition is that the domestic violent violence is the physical abuse and some severe word abuse. In this situation, we support the neighbors and uh, uh, the wives to uh, talk, talk uh, to tell the situation to the government. So, if this is proved to be true. So we need to remove the uh, remove women from domestic violence. They can choose to uh, get a divorce or leave uh, apart from their wives. Sorry. Uh, uh, next, uh, we move to our argument. Our argument to main yeah. argument. First one is about and the, the benefits about uh, the benefits about the um, policy and the, the uh, my panel will talk about the. Uh, government uh, role. Uh, first argument is uh, this will protect uh, uh, women uh, wives from being abused and uh, arise their sense to uh, protect themselves to raise their status in the whole society. Uh, in, uh, in, in our society sometimes when abuse happens when when abuse happens, uh, the wives are, are embarrassed. They have to consider too much. They have to consider about to give their children a complete family. They don't want to get a divorce. They think too much about their children. They want to uh, give them to to still have them uh, feel uh, get their love from their father from from father, and they uh, sorry uh, they they want to uh, get. To, to, to remain a good uh, image of, uh, to the public. So it, uh, sometimes even they get a divorce, it is hard for a woman, uh, it is more, it is harder for a woman to uh, uh, remarry again. So we need to send a message to a whole society. If a husband abuses their wife, it, it, they, they need to pay, they need to pay for it. So we gave the message to the wives that um, our government stands behind you if you are the victims. We, st we stand behind you to protect your um, rights. So what's your point? Uh -huh. uh, you said that uh, many, uh, many, uh, many women just get reversed in town. Uh, it is pretty hard for them to remarry. And uh, you said the government uh, can support them. And uh, I, what I want to say, a uh, government want to support them by ruining uh, her, her marriage and by uh, she cannot uh, remarry again. Is that true? No. Uh, our point is they can choose to get a divorce.
divorce or not. Our uh, policy is that to remove themselves from the situation from domestic violence. If the husband viol uh, abuse their wives, their wives uh, can tell the government, can make it known to the public. They can choose to they can they, cho they can choose to get a divorce. So uh, we we are support that the uh, wives have the uh, have the rights to decide what they are going to do about their marriage and uh, what they are going to do about uh, their future, their remarriage or something. Uh, so. Yes, um, I, I want to. I want to. I just want to emphasize there's economic factors, but I want to say there's other factors. Not women are just not the victims of the um, mutual assist emotion. A, a lot of things that children will be uh, playing a very key part in the family. So th this is a very important factor. So we want to do something, just not simply get off to remove them. We want to do something comprehensive, a system or some institutions to help them get out of this situation. Yes. Yes, and so that uh, our policy is to deal with it. Our policy is to uh, make, to give the children a more healthy environment without violence, without abuse. So uh, that's it. I think the Prime Minister just gave a very soft case that by saying that forced to remove women from the situation of domestic violence, they just mean that the government will support the women to do something they want to do with the domestic violence and also they want to ask the men or the offender to uh, pay to pay the women to pay the women. We said this policy actually uh, she didn't prove how this policy will work and how this policy will really solve the problem. In the, in the essence. And, uh, and also, we believe that the government, the Prime Minister, just um, been very short sighted to say that women consider too much, so they, they are actually, because they consider too much, so they can divorce. But actually, um, my response is that what's wrong with the, con the so called consider too much? I think that uh, for a woman, a stable family or uh, the stable job and uh, even the children are very important for a woman. Even if we give the uh, women the right to divorce, after the divorce, the women, if the, children, if the child get a new father, will it be healthy or good for the children's development or not? So actually their policy didn't work at all and they also been short-sighted. So today our, oh, uh, thank you. So today our, um, as the, uh, the uh, upper house of opposition, our stance is very clear that we want to solve this problem in the essence, but um, just like the disease, we want to cure the disease, but not just cure the symptoms. So by saying that um, uh, we don't want, we don't want to forcibly remove the women from the situation. We mean that we just deter the offender, deter the uh, husbands that uh, that hit the, the hit the wives, and also we mean that we will educate the offender and change the uh, um, change the uh, status quo. That is to say, we want to change the husband to a good husband, a responsible husband to and do good to their uh, wives. So bas uh, basically, Sorry. we have two, argu uh, two arguments. Uh, first, that the forcibly removing doesn't work at all. And second, women's own right to choose. And my partner will further explain how this policy will work and how um, this, uh, what if the stakeholders in this policy can, um, uh, will be good in this situation. Yes? Are you saying that for the healthy children, you would sacrifice the mother to be beaten up again and again yeah, yeah. by the husband in the name of helping the family. Thank you, but we are not saying that we will sacrifice the mother, but we want to say we want to change the problem in the essence. That even if the mother, he, uh, he changed the family, he abandoned the, the violent husband to find another uh, a new father, but she can, you, you cannot ensure the new father is not a, is, is not, is not a violent husband. It may be that the situation actually exists. That the, the, the wife find a new husband, and the new husband is still a violent husband, and do some bad things to the family again. So actually, we want to change the problem in essence, then ensure that these problems will never happen again. So thank, no, thank you.
So for the first argument, we say that force theory removal that doesn't work at all. We say that actually the fundamental reason of this domestic violence is not because how bad the uh, how bad the, the husband is or how, how how bad the woman is. Actually, it's because of a, a quarrel or some uh, some disorder in the in the relation of the family. So actually, we can actually change the change the status quo by deterring the offender, by changing, by educating the offender to Quite rebuild sad. the family, reconstruct the family, and make this uh, violent family to a good family, and make the husband a responsible husband. Quite and sad. also, even, even, even if there is such status quo, we, can, we cannot say once there is a violent family, we will ask uh, all the family member to divorce. That is not the case, because you, actually there are so many, many families in the world uh, especially their wives facing the violence. But we cannot ask every family, ask every wife to divorce their husband. This is not the case. But we want to solve the problem in the in this essence by educating the husband. And also, Sorry. even just no thank you. That even if the the wives they change the change the husband to find another new so called happy family. But one thing the government cannot ensure is not the uh, um, just uh, just the common sense that the, the husband actually. They, they, they don't. They, they doesn't show up their real, real face before the before the marriage. Sometimes the the husband turn into a violent husband after the marriage. So even if that wife they ch find a new husband, the new husband might might still be a very violent oh, husband. Like, that, like before. No, thank you. Sir. So we say uh, that actually by this policy we are actually making our uh, wives to believe that there is still some hope and, and, and there is some something to do with their family in spite of uh, 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 but but for the uh, destroying the family. Uh, so and second for the uh, second part, the, why this is women's own right to choose? We say that uh, actually domestic affairs um, is very uh, private and actually is involved with some privacy. Like if the husband is a is a guy like S M, uh, like to abuse in the uh, sexual abuse, sexual uh, sexually abuse their wives. So this is very private affairs that the women, the or the family doesn't want sir, to be exposed. Oh, no, thank you, thank you all. We see, we see that women, they may not, even the family, they don't want to impose, they expose this shame step to the, to the public, to the government, because the neighbors will make, make, make judgment on them. So actually, for the, for the first uh, perspective, we want to protect their privacy, that if there is a problem, especially involved with the privacy, we will let them own to solve, and we just create a better environment to change the uh, situation. And second, since the women, so we we uh, just like the prime minister said, we not consider too much. But I have response that what's wrong with the so-called consider too much? We say actually women are are doing women are doing the rational choice by the, by this policy because a uh, women uh, we know that women actually in this uh, uh, in disadvantage in the society which will also be illustrated by my partner that actually they have so much thing to consider that for the stable job than the, the relationship with the ex husband or uh, even if and um, the children and the job market so actually a woman need a chance need, a, need this right to make irrational make rational choice the women should have the right to trade off by so many many things that to, to 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 make a best choice that is really best for her but we said if government passed a motion to force the divorce to the husband and the wife and the wife cannot really do in the rational choice by, by this policy because if uh, see if, even if the wives are facing the violence, but sometimes the wives are still loving husband. Uh, so we can we say that the love or the uh, emotion between the couple are still exist. So we don't want to destroy this kind of uh, things. But actually, by, like I have put it, but by this deterrent, deterrence and education and uh, the um, tangible uh, change we made on this offender, we can actually choose the, make change the change the problem in the essence and really cure the disease. That is to say, we want to change the problem and ensure the problem will never happen again. So we are proud of course. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I have to say about the leader of opposition's speech. 
It's very ridiculous. Well, they keep talking about the uh, new husband and old husband, and, and after a women divorce, and they will find a new husband, and their children will be suffer a lot, and it, it's very bad. And I, I, I want to say that a uh, part of his speech about new husband and old husband are totally assumptions, and it's unreasonable. And please pay attention to our definition. Our definition is uh, we falsely remo remove women from situation of domestic violence. What is a, a remove from? Uh, Pay attention to our definition about remove them from. Well, our remove is that we falsely uh, make them leave their family for a while, and we give their, them two choice uh, to divorce or to uh, just depart a while. And, give, uh, and the, and the time, uh, uh, it depends on the uh, wife's, uh, the wife's uh, uh, decision, and they can choose uh, when to go back to their home or just divorce directly, and or whether or not to. Uh, Pick their uh, children, leave, uh, leave uh, the children's uh, dad, or, um, or so on. We are, uh, well, we re really respect the women's choice, and we give them time. We give them, uh, we give them time to think of their future and to make decisions. And so that's our uh, definition. Please pay attention to our definition. And also, uh, I have two rebuttals about your two uh, arguments. First of all, you, uh, your first argument is that uh, well, you said. Uh, our uh, our motion uh, our uh, propo proposal is doesn't work and uh, fa falsely remove them is doesn't work and they also said that uh, oh, but yeah uh, you <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah you said you you said you can change the husband you can educate them and change them and to uh, transfer them from a uh, violent violent man to a good man respons responsible man and so on but actually I think you failed to explain and illustrate it how. How to, uh, how to change them, and how to educate them, and how could they uh, uh, change them quickly from a uh, bad, uh, from a violent man to a good man, uh, to a uh, man without vi uh, domestic violence. And I also feel to uh, explain why, uh, why we, our, uh, oh, then, yeah, you said our, mo our motion it doesn't work. Now I'll tell you how our motion uh, function, uh, be functional and uh, benefit the society. Uh, well, uh, uh, well uh, uh, just now our uh, my partners uh, told uh, told you the uh, we have to uh, tell you two arguments. Yeah, first of all, we have to protect women's rights, and secondly, about uh, uh, it's only government can do this job to uh, remove women from domestic uh, violence. And now I'll tell you uh, our last two arguments. First, is, uh, second, our, our second argument argument is. The benefits of this motion to the society, and our fourth argument is about uh, the necessity of this motion and the uh, government's role. Well, uh, let's move on. To my first argument is about the benefits of this motion. Well, first of all, let's say the stakeholders is the children, the family. I mean, the, the couple, the wife and husband, and third, uh, I think it's the society and the country. Well, for children, well, actually, when when couple and children's uh, 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 children's parents uh, they fight or they just um, uh, or the, the uh, or their dad just uh, do violence do violence to their mother and they suffered a lot. They feel hurt and most uh, most uh, children they are very uh, uh, lonely and uh, they don't want to communicate with others and they think they don't have a happy family and their parents don't care them at all. And uh, so we 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 give the we give the uh, wives the victims cho uh, choice. To make them uh, decide whether to separate, uh, whether to apart uh, apart uh, from uh, his uh, husband, uh, her husband for a while, or just divorce. So you may say that um, then the ch uh, children will know that their parents don't have a good relationship, and they, they will uh, hurt uh, even worse. But we think that uh, once once uh, they know it, and they will uh, know, oh, well, really, uh, my parents don't have a good relationship, so. Uh, and they want to help them because uh, no, no, there's no child want uh, want to have a broken family. They really want their family to be uh, good and to be uh, happy. So, and also uh, a shorter uh, a short term uh, depart or uh, just for a long term uh, happy family uh, and good family relationship. And no, thank you. And good attitude. So, do, uh, I want to say for greater uh, for greater interest because. Um, once they separate from each other, then they have time to think of their future. They have time to uh, uh, to realize their fault and to uh, change themselves. And for children, for their family, they will 
uh, they will become better and build a, a better family relationship. Okay. So, and secondly, for the uh, family, uh, for the family, the uh, child, the children, and the uh, and the couple. Um, well, uh, because uh, domestic violence is really an unhealthy uh, family uh, relationship. So, uh, they, they are what they are doing are just uh, hurt each other and. All their love uh, before their marriage uh, gradually disappear uh, step by step. So uh, yeah. and also both of them are uh, mentally and physically hurted. Right. So no thank Please. you. So we can give some time to uh, to uh, come down and just to uh, for build a better family. And second, uh, certainly for the society and the country. Well, actually um, nowadays many many husbands they, they don't want to let uh, the public know their their faults and the the, uh, the women are just too shame to say it. So, so uh, as a government, they should uh, government uh, once government uh, falsely removes them from the domestic violence family, and the government uh, express a signal that don't be shame, just uh, tell us and let us uh, let uh, and let us help you. And so, they can uh, not only solve the. Uh, Domestic violence, social problems, also, but also can promote the women's rights and can uh, develop and promote the atmosphere of a, uh, a healthy atmosphere in uh, a relationship in family uh, of the whole society. And my second second argument is about the necessity of this motion. Uh, what the government's uh, role is to do the, I think, is to do the uh, job for the uh, for the public. To a government is chosen by the majority of the pub, uh, of the people in their country. So they have the responsibility, they have the duty uh, uh, to uh, serve and help and also protect their people because they are believed uh, by others. So, well, as we all know, the women who suffer from domestic violence, they are victims. So government has the responsibility and duty to help them. So basically, we are, uh, we are proud to propose it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Prime Good afternoon, Madam Speaker, ladies and gentlemen. What my opponents today have told us is that as they assume that divorce means happiness. Once they, they, uh, they encourage this kind of women in the domestic violence to divorce, and in, in this way they can get happiness. What they are told, telling us is that. But we don't see they're giving any chance to the offender. But what we need to consider is also in the family is the offender and is also the victim. We also need to consider the offender, but they don't give the offender a chance to educate themselves, a chance to change themselves. So that is what I think they, they are short-sighted, as my partner has pointed out. Secondly, they also say that they, the women in this kind of domestic violence can choose what uh, when to come back, and they can choose who the, uh, the children belongs to whom. And this makes the, makes the women in the domestic violence like a king, right? They can decide whatever in this family. They can decide when to go come back. But imagine, what if they come back? They are, my opponent is just ignoring the law and ignoring the real solution of domestic violence. First, they ignoring the law. What, what the women should do in the domestic violence should be considering according to the law, rather than choosing whether uh, they could come back or choosing when to leave or choosing what the children belong to. So actually, it should be going according to the law. And secondly, they are ignoring the real solution of domestic problem, uh, domestic violence. Imagine if the women come back as they have said, just. Uh, what we see of their coming back is that the women are the weaker one. They didn't do. They they were the victim in the domestic violence. But the government doesn't punish the offender of they doing a crime. But they are punishing the women as a, by removing them forcefully out. So actually, what we see is that your policy are representing to the society that women are the weaker one. Women are the discriminated one. Women are the more vulnerable group in this kind of domestic violence. Sorry. And, and actually, this is totally a wrong idea you are presenting. And where is the justice to say? The justice should be, be the justice should be carried out also by, uh, also by our society and the government to, to advocate people that domestic violence is wrong and we are dealing with domestic, domestic violence exactly. as a responsible government. And also, what we see is that nothing is punished to the offender in your policy. 
And thirdly, once we once they don't consider the circumstances, once the women doesn't want to move at all, what are, what if the circumstances goes on like that? You still move them, remove them forcefully, and it is totally going against the freedom of will. So actually, you are also saying that they are shameful to say this kind of domestic violence. It is also shameful for them to move out, which I will elaborate later. Yes. These women carry a social burden. In some cases, they even carry a financial burden because they are financially dependent on their husband. If the government does not act, how is the status quo protecting these women in any way? Because in current situation, they have no way to get out of this situation. Rather, in our case, they can get out now. Thank you for your question. And firstly, I want to point out, you are always saying about protecting women. But why is women always the one need to be protected? Sometimes women, most of the time, women are the victims in the domestic violence. But also, sometimes women are the offenders. So what in this kind of situation? And also, you said the financial burden. Yes, financial burden is a problem, but it is a problem need to uh, solve the by the justice and better laws. That is why we all agree that women in this kind of circumstances are encouraged to seek for the uh, uh, help of the law and to tell the government and tell the courts to sue. This is also Thank a solution you, to deal with your financial problem. But what we see is that you can't force people to choose the way you think the best for them. So what you think is that the, the best for them is to sue, the, to divorce, or to something like that. But we think women have the choice to choose whether to divorce, or whether to leave, or whether to, whether to stay in the family. And what I want to also want to point out is that you are actually what you are considering about is mostly in the case that women are the victim in this kind of domestic violence. But in this case, actually removing women is actually a double punish to women. Consider, they have been the victim in the violence and they have been punished at once. And secondly, you remove them from the family. And they, many of them, as I have said before, that they don't want to move. So in this kind of circumstances, you are separating them against their will. So this is also double punishment. And what I want to talk most importantly is the importance of the stable family. Think of the stakeholders again, that first is the offender. As we have, uh, first is a victim, especially divorced women, as you have said in this kind of circumstances. What we see is that divorce doesn't mean happiness. Divorce means that more social harm was conducted to this kind of women. As we see that most, most people in our society have this kind of transition value that they would gossip about this kind of diverse women. And this, this would lead to more discrimination and more gossip to this kind of women. And this would lead to more social harm, social pressure to them. And also, on the career seeking of this kind of women, as you have talked about, they, uh, on the financial and economic aspect, it is also hard for them, for this kind of diverse women, to find a job in this in nowadays society. So actually, it is causing harm to the victims, especially the women. Secondly, to the offender. The stable family is also important for the uh, offender because what our policy is, or what our side firmly believes that we need to give the offenders a chance to change and to educate themselves. And how to educate, which I will elaborate later. And thirdly, to the children, as you have said about, children will see this quarrel, but we can't avoid the children to see the quarrel, see the fighting of their family. But more importantly, we should not force it. We should, by removing the, their mothers, what, what the, the message sending by you is that we see that women are actually always uh, the weaker, so always the part need to be pro protected. So that is why we remove that. So that is a false idea to the children of this family. And also, you said that they will beat it again, but what we see that it is a freedom of choice of the women. Firstly, one, once the, on the first circumstances, the woman wants to sue the uh, offender, this would encourage women to use law to defend themselves. Secondly, if the women don't want to sue the uh, defender and, uh, offender and they want to stay, then we see family is actually a small unit to care, cure the bad, un bad, bad habits and the bad uh, situations of these kind of circumstances. Once by government, you are just using force to deal with these kind of uh, circumstances. And actually, force is not the most useful and powerful curation. What we believe that is that Family should be a private unit, and the issues inside the family should be solved by themselves rather than government interference. So my partner has told you the feasibility that the policy doesn't work. 
And he also told you that women has their own right to choose, and I am telling you the importance of the stable family. So we firmly believe that we need to cure the disease rather than just cure the symptom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's welcome the member of the government. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposition side has told us that they need law and justice to help these husbands and these women. From the beginning to the end, they have never told us how exactly they are making law and justice helping them. Yet, we on the government side have made it very clear that we are going to make law and make specific regulations to help these women. We do so by removing this woman from harm. We actually stop this harm. Usually in many countries, what they do is that they provide a safe house for these women so that they can live securely. They will punish these husbands so that it's exactly as the opposition yeah, yeah. say, we deter these, like, these bad husbands. But eventually, right, what the opposition side was trying to tell us is this. They say, because of the good of the family, we can't force them to divorce. But what exactly is the good of this family? You are still keeping the child inside the family, seeing their mother being beaten up every day. You are still keeping the mother inside the family, being beaten up every day. What exactly is the good of the family? You are only catering to the man who is the perpetrator of this crime. You are not giving them a way out. But secondly, right? even when they are talking about women's rights, and they say that there are so many things that women can decide themselves, Come on, face it. We have already told you that these women carry a social burden, carry a financial burden. In many cases, it's not that they have the right and they don't choose, but rather they don't have the right from the very beginning because they are not able to do so. Finally, we have a solution for them. The government will help them, give them this way out, and this would eventually be really facilitating their own right and their own choice. Before they can't do so, they're in a coercive situation. Now, it's never happening again. Now, the thirdly, right, they were even saying, because there's so much gossip in this society, and because of these gossip, we can't allow these gossip happening in order to protect these women. What is the reason why gossip happens? It's because the society don't understand these women, don't understand the situation happening in such a family with domestic violence. When our law tells the society that they are wrong, that these men can't do their thing ever again, that's when we're really changing the awareness in the society. That's when these gossip will never ever be precious again. No one will do it no more in long term. We say that's the real change to our society. What is the justice that our government side is trying to propose, ladies and gentlemen? We believe that justice needs to be done in a way that is feasible, in a way that we can see real significant changes in society. We can't allow the opposition to simply say, we, do, we deal with it, and not telling us what exactly are they doing. We have real specific reasons why we can do it and why it's better off that we're doing it. In our extension, we're basically trying to revisit the old concept of what is marriage. We're going to tell you basically four things. Why? What first thing, what is marriage and why domestic violence automatically breaches like, marriage? And secondly, why in such a case we can automatically stop this marriage? Yet, thirdly, why we need to actively, forcefully do so and find out what is the positive change that we're going to bring to women and in their stages. And the first issue, right, what exactly is marriage? Ladies and gentlemen, when you know marriage, you usually understand it as a sweet thing, right? So when husband and wife go together to a certain institution, they will say that whether I'm healthy or I'm ill, whether I'm rich or poor, whatever I am, I'll take care of you, you take care of me. That's exactly the kind of family and the marriage that we're talking about. It's about a supporting mechanism, it's about a protection that we offer for both sides. When you eventually decide to divorce, we won't let one side to abuse the other side. We will allow you to take both fair share of responsibility taking care of your child, both fair share in your wealth, for example, that your family has created. In such a way, we make sure both sides of the family can be equally operating this family. When they have conflicts, they need to negotiate. When they have problems, they need to talk it out. Yet, we see as an even more important principle in our society is this, right? We never ever believe in violence. 
on the street, you can't beat other people up. Law has never ever allowed you to use violence to resolve any problem that you ever have. Now that is when we see a conflict in here. When marriage is supposed to be caring for each other, when marriage is supposed to be giving protection to both of the party involved in this marriage, when yet one side is abusing the other side, using violence in this marriage. Now simply you are using the excuse that this is a private sphere, this is a private situation. That's why you can't do it. That's why you can't intervene. We say that reason doesn't stand. We need to uphold the value of marriage in the very beginning. We need to make sure protection is given. But what is the problem that we are seeing eventually with this, right? We say this auto dissolution of marriage. We basically automatically stop the marriage as it is because we can't do it anymore. We can't allow the women to be oppressed in such a situation anymore. So think about it. If we don't forcefully do it, right? If we do not ever do it. What exactly were happening is that the man is simply not negotiating with the woman. The man doesn't like it, and when it doesn't like it, they will simply beat up the woman to do whatever they can. We are giving these men an easy way out to say that we don't care for you. You are not equal to me. You are just a pet to me instead of my wife to me. And in that kind of case, the government is doing nothing, not helping the woman financially, not helping the woman psychologically. Yes. Given that a woman is threatened by the husband or financially dependent on the family, how can you policy ensure that the, the wife will equally divorce their husband? Exactly, right? That's what the kind of support mechanism I've mentioned in the very first place. We can provide safe house. We can provide psychological counseling for these women. We allow them to live, we give them shelter, we give them food, we give them education, just like the society provide basic social security for everybody else. If these women need that, they can now finally get out of the family, tell the government we need them, instead of being stuck in a family where their husband do not permit them to do so. That's when we talk about the positive changes in society that we create, right? So nowadays, it's never about the wife divorcing the husband because they don't like each other, but rather the law is making it clear it's the fault of the husband because you abuse your wife. That's why we are removing the woman from this marriage, right? So finally, let's take a look at a little bit of this comparison. Think about short term, right? Maybe you're creating a problem a little bit difficult to remarry, right? And in the short term. But what we see is that there's not going to be ever beating up again by these women, right? You save them bodily, you give them physical protection. Yet, with the kind of long term discussion we have already had, if you can change a society, the society will no longer discriminate these women anymore. The society will give these women a better way to live, and eventually that's also helping these children when these children would not even actually like, like be stuck in this kind of situation and live in the shadow that was created by their father because of their violence. That's why we strongly propose. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first uh, I will give a rebuttal, and then I will uh, tell you there is no need to uh, to, uh, to 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 let, uh, remove the uh, woman forcefully from the uh, domestic violence, and then I will give the extension. Before my speech, uh, I will uh, share a share a report with you. That is, last year I heard a report that Li Yang's wife uh, uh, was beaten by Li Yang, and she shared the news. Uh, on, on Weibo, she's pretty brief, and uh, I'm really appreciate uh, 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 that that action. But uh, uh, it is really pity that many uh, many women don't dare to say so. So. Um, so uh, and it, it reminds me that protecting women is really the case. And uh, uh, first uh, comes to my uh, like come to my speech that is the rebuttal that the member of government said um, very weakly that uh, we needed a, a husband and a wife to negotiate. I'm really uh, uh, to create an. Uh, uh, it's a, a marriage that don't have violence. I really appreciate your fairy tale that that don't exist in the world. Uh, it is because if you uh, negotiate and you, you just forcefully uh, let them divorce, and uh, if but you didn't really solve the real problem, uh, the the 
you don't give them the intellectual support that women uh, don't have independent uh, financial source uh, they they might be uh, rely rely on, on on her next husband or next the next heart husband and they will be again and again so and uh, uh, and uh, and okay uh, I will say there is no need to forcefully uh, to remove uh, the, the woman from the domestic uh, violence because it is harmful to women. Uh, that is the family and marriage. You know, uh, when women just uh, get married, they grow old. We don't like men. We grow old and we just get divorced. We cannot easily remarry. So uh, it is really harm for us. And, uh, and the very important thing is that it doesn't solve the real problem because uh, if you just forcefully let them to in a safe house uh, to just punish them, yes, really punish the punish. The, okay. So, how would your policy making the status quo any better by letting you continuously being abused by your husband? Um, I will. I will introduce my policy uh, later. And uh, oh, thank you. And then, uh, okay, let me go on. Where, where I am? Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, what? Oh, okay. Uh, the real uh, solve the real problem. And uh, uh, okay. And um, I, I, what I want to say that domestic uh, violence has many kinds. That is. Uh, Domestic uh, uh, violence has many kinds, and if we uh, we we cannot just merely say if you just have one domestic violence, then you ask the law for help. So we have the women committee. That is my extension. That uh, we uh, government will support a women committee, and uh, uh, will uh, and in the women committee will have the psychologists and the lawyers. And, and access is pretty private. That is by internet and telephone are, 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 are both available. That a woman can share their uh, experience on the internet and telephone to tell them uh, how, how is it going on there. And they will, uh, and the, and the, and the uh, psychologist and lawyer will give them support, allow them to, 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 uh, to teach them skills to have the uh, economic, financial, uh, to, to let them uh, independent uh, financially, and also uh, also teach them uh, some physical skills to let them strong, and to help them analyze the domestic violence, and uh, according to the situation, to let them uh, to let them to go in, uh, into the uh, into the law way or in a negotiate way uh, or not. And uh, finally, and the, the uh, women committee will help uh, like to uh, gather the neighbors together to help the solution out. And uh, let me, <coughs> I like, uh, I like, uh, let me give a summary of this. Okay. Are you contradicting your upper house when your upper house say women have their absolute right to choose? Now, in this case, you are using women's committee to advocate for women divorcing. Your upper house say divorcing is not a problem; they don't need it. Do you really need a divorce, or you don't need a divorce? I think you just didn't, didn't catch me. I'm not nice in my uh, upper house. That is, I'm not uh, advocating a, a, a divorce. We just uh, uh, like to the psych uh, psychologists and the lawyers to help to an uh, analysis of the uh, of the situation of the domestic violence. So you didn't catch us, uh, our points, and. Uh, and uh, uh, let me do a summary of my speech that we really don't think there is a need to remove the woman from uh, domestic violence uh, forcefully because of the family, because of the marry, uh, marriage, and uh, most importantly, if we don't give them uh, some skills uh, to let them independent, we don't really solve the problem. And uh, they, uh, they go to another family, they can uh, experience this, uh, the same experience as well. And uh, and uh, and I would want to say that a domestic uh, uh, and there are a lot of domestics uh, violence varies, and we cannot just merely say you have that that domestic, so you you, you will uh, you will do something. Then we just say uh, according to the se severe to say your husband uh, it, it is uh, because of what you have domestic violence. 
it is just a very um, a random case or a open case. We must uh, consider about that. And, uh, and also, we just uh, want to elect the government to support a women committee to help the, uh, to help the, uh, the women out of the trouble, to let them know they are independent, they are strong, and they can get out of this uh, if they do so. Okay, now just uh, almost, every, almost every woman know uh, and they have the ability, they, they have the knowledge. So, why they are still uh, suffering domestic violence? They have, they have, uh, they have the ability, and they just don't use the ability. And many just uh, have the, uh, they are just a housewife, you know, they are not financially independent, so they just uh, experience the uh, domestic violence. And uh, let me go on. And uh, uh, oh, and the government will support the women out of the trouble to uh, get rid of the same experience. And. Uh, and, 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 the, and the access is pretty private. To uh, don't let the gossip, the rumor uh, go around to protect the women. That by internet and telephone, and we can uh, the hurt women can uh, ask for help by them. And uh, if necessary, and it, according to the law, uh, uh, let the neighbor uh, help them. Okay, and that's all. I'm very uh, proud to uh, oppose. Today we're facing a very simple and naive government. Uh, government? Uh, obligation. <laughs> we're trying to assume that family is the paradise and the ultimate goal of a woman. Of a woman. It is in this reason that you should stuck in your house, stuck with the, the person that keep consistently abusing you and sacrificing for your children. We think this is something problematic. We think the real way to solve the problem is to empower those group of people, those women, to fight against this issue instead of letting them stop in the house and continuously be exposed to the violence. Secondly, we say we government already have in, uh, already set up a, a bunch of rules, a bunch of uh, punishment for those uh, for those um, abused husbands who try to use violence towards them. It is not pictures by them that those uh, abused husbands simply go away. Of course, we'll charge them. So, um, briefly moving to my clashes and the rebuttals that intertwined with uh, in these cases. Well, there are basically three things I want to talk about, whether it is necessary for us to intervene, why it is uh, we governments need to intervene specifically in this way by forcing them removed out of the situation. Second, we're talking about the essence of marriage, what you should do or what you shouldn't do, why we, we get on that side, it's okay for us to, 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 to remove them. And thirdly, talking about the solution, which one, which size proposal really, so, uh, really solve the problem or worsen the situation. First, we're talking about the necessity, why it is necessary for the government's intervention. Well, uh, we are happy that both sides share the ground that the women suffered from a lot of things from the society, suffering from the gossip from your neighbors, suffering from, uh, uh, suffering from the, uh, embarrassment uh, to talk about that. We say it is exactly for those reasons that, that those women are hesitant to tell the police, hesitant to let the cost, uh, their husbands being caught, being accused of do, uh, domestic violence. So that is why we say this kind of failure of capture perceived by their husband actually increase the possibility, increase the, uh, the uh, tendency for those husbands abusive uh, 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 behavior. Why? When, the, when even if the opposition of other house talking about deterrence and education, why deterrence won't work, Madam Speaker? Deterrence only works in a situation that those people perceive there's a higher chance of being captured. If there's no chance of being captured, where will you be accused of? How will you uh, receive those punishments? Yes, we agree. Because those are existing social norms, existing embarrassments, existing double standards, to the social burdens to the women, they are hesitant to report, they are hesitant to let the 
killed their husband being caught. That is why we say time and time and again, even if we double the punishment to those husbands, they still try to abuse them. It is why we see a history of domestic violence thousands of years ago. We see this is problematic, and the government side never respond, never change that. Okay. Madam Chair, when the black people are discriminated by the white people, we don't we, we change the opinion of the white people, but not set segregation. This is exactly the case we're talking about. We are change, we don't want to change who they are, but change the core of the problem. Madam, we think this is really interesting. Well, this is not segregation, right? We just want to provide a kind of protection to those women to let them know that actually your husband's behavior to you is something intrinsically wrong. You need to be oh, some, you need to be the one who are away from being physically abused. That is why we provide safe houses to them. This is not segregation. If the husband already received the punishment and rehabilitated the one, realized the importance of being a treat good uh, nicely to their wives, we already we all or, or we all recognize that. And we will let the women to choose whether you will come back or not. But during this period, we say when the the, uh, the husband still acting like a potential dangerous element, to a potential threat to the women's physical body, we need to act. Why do we say it is essentially in this way? As I have mentioned to you, education and deterrence won't work in a situation. So that is why we governments need to conduct something that is really strong, really hard, to let the women to know what is right, what is wrong, and to offer real protection to those them. Oh, moving on to my second thing about the nature of marriage. We agree, marriage is a private domain, domain that we, the government shouldn't interfere too much. But we still living in a society where we need marriage. We need we, we, we unite together for the basic reason of union, of uh, mutual support. We government here actually here acting as uh, acting as a third party to enhance this kind of contract while offering the legal protection of your finance that both of you should share the um, should share the the, the the responsibility of earning money of funding that. Well, what we say before that, you still are the citizen of the society, which means that your basic right to life, your basic right to not be abused, are still one of the prior domain of the, those family. Even though we say many things we cannot decide in a bedroom, you still have, don't have the right to kill your husband, to or to kill your uh, to kill your wife. So it is essentially the same logic that. Even if you are living in a living in a dorm, in, in a private room, we, you are not okay for the one to use violence to beat the other party, to follow instructions, etc. Well, we basically we say those citizens are created equal. Well, this kind of marriage just offer this kind of mutual support and mutual bondage to help you share the uh, responsibility. We government still need to protect you when your basic right to life, basic right to physical uh, physical autonomy are being harmed. That is why we say governments already have a say here. And suddenly we're talking about the solution. Well, we agree. Now, we, you, the, the, those women who seek to divorce certainly f face the so social norms, social pressure from the neighbors. But it is exactly those norms, those those double standards that shackled them, shackled them in those areas. That is why they're consistently uh, acting as a kind of vulnerable party living in that domain. What we want to do, we want to impose them, we empower them to change the social norm in the long run instead of letting them keep consistently, uh, consistently being shamed that you are the one being abused. We need to let them to know that it is their fault that that abuse you using violence. It is therefore th that you. Sh uh, it is therefore that you uh, are suffering those miseries. We government needs to provide this kind of basic protection to them. So what I wrote to you, Madam Speaker, we think it is necessary for the government's intervention for for the reason that um, protect the citizens' right to life and not being abused. And second, we're talking about the essence of marriage and mutual support. And this our domestic violence already violates the essence through that. We are very proud to oppose. Thank you very much for work. This was on the October 20, 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I want to give you uh, a few rebuttals and to towards uh, uh, clo clothing government. First of all, I think I think we'll uh, use a fair share of the wealth. Uh, yes, we uh, yes, but I think it can so can solve the problem because we our with our women's committee, we can help them. Uh, we so uh, we can help help some women without any without any basic skills to earn money. So this is uh, the very function of our women's committee. A second of all, I think they said the gossip and the tip, uh, and the women are ashamed uh, because uh, they said they are the abused ones. Yes, exactly. But what is our fun what is the function of our women's committee? That is, we want to solve this problem. We want, we want to gather the neighbors, uh, such as the grandma and grandpa, all of these very nice people, and they get together to eliminate the environment for the for the abused women. And this gossip will vanish naturally. So this is our this is our organization. This is the very function of our organization. And next is my uh, clashes. It's, uh, it's uh, identify the clashes. Uh, the first one is uh, from the upper house. We didn't see uh, we didn't see any particular policies so to solve this problem. But our but our uh, but our government but our side is says no. Thank you. Uh, the, our side just said um, um, we will solve this problem because uh, what is the main uh, core core value of our organization, that is, we, we are the agent is the government, uh, we are favored by government, and our, our main job is to find the very reasons causing the domestic problem, rather than just argue with what is wrong, what is uh, right, because I think uh, domestic violence is so complicated problem, there are various reasons causes causing problem, so I think you just uh, to solve this problem in a way, such a financial way, or just a child way, I think it's so uh, one side, it is just not very comprehensive, so we we want to. We want this kind of organization sure. to investigate, to 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 let the people around them a more human way to help them. This is a more nicer way rather than just a simple to remove them or give them body body protection, uh, which is sounds terrible and horrible. Horrible, I sure. think. No, thank you. And next is um, something uh, about the uh, find the reasons. I think uh, uh, another thing is. Uh, I think we are very, uh, very glad we have a richer point that is we are all in favor of marriage. So because we are in favor of marriage, so I think we need to find the reasons what is caused. And also we can't, uh, in this, in the whole debate, we can't, uh, we can't, we, we, I didn't see that uh, their clear definition, the, 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 the domestic violence is one time, one time domestic violence, or it is uh, uh, often, it is usually have the violence. I think it is a different in nature because one is random, one is an incident, another, it's just a kind of way, it's a husband with some mental, uh, mental diseases or some other things to beat their wife. Sure. So there are different sure. situations. Um, yes? There's no difference between uh, random uh, domestic uh, violence or and the uh, often uh, Often domestic violence. This is kind of non-tolerance. This is kind of non-tolerant problem. So you cannot decide whether to punish him or not. Depends on the um, the the times the the, the so violence. I know happens. you you are talking about zero tolerance. But I want to say every normal family will have fight. And every fight uh, possibly have some physical contact. It possibly have some domestic domestic violence. So I want to say this is uh, not. Uh, no, this is uh, what, I, uh, what I want to solve the problem because uh, domestic violence, they are complicated. We don't want to find a reason to do some investigation, to, to search, some, to search uh, some information from their, or the people around them. No, thank you. Uh, next is, uh, I think this, uh, they're always talking about the financial things and they think that women are disadvantaged in their family. Yes, of course. So that is why I, we want to find this, uh, we want to fund the organization. Because uh, uh, they are disadvantaged, and they, uh, when they in Boston, they don't have enough ability to earn money and, um, and earn money. So I don't. See, so thank you. Uh, so okay, uh, pink. <laughs> <laughs> so you are trying to say, well, you are letting those lawyers, you are letting those psychologists. Uh, also, you are talking about those grandpa and grandma. Where are the privacy that you originally been talking about? Yes, I want to say we have a different
differentiation policy. That is, I think we have different parts. That is because one part is the neighbors and a new human being, we another one is, uh, that is another very essence uh, function that is, uh, we think we have differentiation, differentiation policy. Once, once we find this situation is so severe, it's out of the control of the neighbors or some, some people around them can't solve this problem, we will hand it, we'll pass them to the court, we'll pass them to the legal process, legal procedure to solve this problem. So this is our function, which is to help them, assist them, and the, which is also uh, many, which, does, which is also a proof that we, we are not knocking over upper house. Okay. On one hand, your partner has been showing us that they only want to use telephone and internet to make sure that there's absolute standard of privacy. On the other hand, you are now using a differentiating policy to have grandmas and every neighbor to help investigate in the case which you so want to make private about. What exactly are you going to do with that kind of situation? I don't think it's just a misunderstanding. Us. I think it is just a way. We, it is the one of the ways. It is not the only way to to using uh, to use. We based on the intention of the women victims. If they want to use internet or something to protect their privacy, I think that, that is totally okay. If they if they don't want, if because one of the person, especially for women, they are vulnerable. They will asking help for other people. This is the human nature. So we want to use this to build up a very healthy environment. To, 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 them, to let them suffer lives uh, uh, from these uh, domestic issues. So uh, that is, uh, the, funding, that is uh, the very intention of our organization. And also, uh, there is uh, some other issues. There is, uh, they want to, you want to punish the husband. Yes, we also concerned the husband. Yes, we want to persuade them, to, to, to persuade them, to correct them. To, to correct their behaviors, bad behaviors. This is a kind of education, educa educa educational way. So also, and they are punished because uh, they are be away from their wife and live alone. They already got the punishment. So you you just want if they get one, if, if they cause a very severely a violence uh, injuries of the children of the women, they will be sent to the court. So there is so this, this is not an uh, issue. This, that is not the case. Um, you. So our marriage purpose is to solve the problem, not not just because we want to punish the husband. Not punish the husband don't cannot solve any problem yet. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I, I think you are, you, in your speech, you just mentioned that you asked help from government. And you did mention how to, uh, how to, how to ask, uh, how, to, how, to help the, how to help the women by the government. So to summary, from, to draw a conclusion from my speech, uh, first of all, I think, uh, I, 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 uh, first of all, I want to uh, see the criteria of, uh, of the uh, organization of a women's committee, that is to find a reason, a uh, very restriction of the domestic, the domestic violence to stop this problem in essence, really in real essence. And uh, secondly, I identify some questions. The first one is the fire, sh uh, fire share can solve this problem, essentially, because we think solve this problem, we, we must solve the problem in essence, uh, in a different way, in various ways, through investigation, through the lawyers, through the physical professional people, and uh, to solve this problem. And because, it, uh, and then we, we use the, we, we help, we, we through the surrounding people to help them, which is, uh, which is in a more human being way, more nicer way, because uh, this will solve the problem uh, about the reputation or gossip. Um, yes, thank you.